What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be um, telling you guys about um, some news that I think is really important and I think will benefit um, all of you PC enthusiasts and gamers out there. And I know most of you guys are who watch my channel. So if you guys didn't know, the Windows 10 uh, free upgrade that Microsoft is giving out to everyone who's using Windows 7 and Windows 8 and in Windows 8.1 just ended about a month ago or July 29th or 30th. I don't know the exact date, but around there. So now users have to pay about $110 or $120 for the Windows 10 Home Edition or or $200 for the Windows 10 Pro Edition. Now, of course, there's still ways to get Windows 10 for free, of course, which is pirating it, which I do not recommend because it's really sketchy and it's not a genuine copy and there's so many problems you can have with that. Uh, or you can get it a lot cheaper on sites like Kingwin, which is um, a lot of people are doing, which is uh, actually a key, which is good, which is pretty good. I think that's a really genuine thing, but there's still a way you can, you can get Windows 10, the legit genuine copy from Microsoft itself, totally for free. If you guys didn't know, um, Windows 10 actually has new features called assistive technologies, which um, lets you be able to zoom in more, has a better narrator. It's really for people who are have some disabilities or um, hearing disabilities or... Um, or viewing disability, I don't know what to call those. But um, these assistive technologies really help these types of people out. And and that's what Windows 10 is really, I guess, proud of these new features. So that is why Windows 10 is, is, is issuing, um, even though the free upgrade for the whole general public has ended, there is Windows Microsoft is still giving a free upgrade to Windows 10 to people who are going to be using assistive technologies. And of course, there's no way that Windows is, is has to verify if people are going to be actually using these assistive, these assistive technologies with this new extended free upgrade. So the only thing that's really stopping you guys from installing this is not from Microsoft, it's from your own, I guess, guilty conscience. So um, you're asking yourself, well, um, Justin, I'm not going to be I'm not going to be going to be using these assistive technologies because I don't need them. I don't have any. Uh, any disability stuff like that. As I said before, Windows 10 does not have any proof that you are using these assistive um, pro features or not, and there's no way to verify it. So really, it is you can still get Windows 10. Everyone in the whole world can still get Windows 10 for free as long as, if you, of course, you have Windows 7 or Windows 8.1. So. And Windows and Microsoft has, themselves have not said they don't have a deadline where they're going to stop this free upgrade because of, of because they want because people who have disabilities are exempt from paying the 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 really high price of Windows 10, which is about you know hundred to two hundred dollars. So this this update really is meant for people who have uh, disabilities, and of course. Um, if you don't have one, you, you can still get it, but of course, Windows themselves are saying um, you shouldn't uh, exploit this feature that they're giving to people um, who actually need these assistive technologies, and this is not meant to be a workaround, but of course, everyone is going to use this as a mini workaround, because really, this is a mini workaround for it, and I don't know why Windows would stop the free upgrade. It, basically, more people would be installing Windows 10, and, and it would be more popular, and it's much better for them as a marketing standpoint. So that's really the main point in this video. Um, another mini topic is why I'm, I'm kind of hesitant to upgrade to Windows 10 for free is because of the major problems that Microsoft themselves is saying is a big problem that they don't have a fix for when upgrading to Windows 10 anniversary update. Um, the anniversary update is the new update to Windows 10 which rolled out after the free upgrade for the general public ended and it's causing a lot of users that actually have their operating system on an SSD to experience really major freezes and crashes that really suck and probably would make you want to you know, make you have to you know Seem, seem as though you need to install a new hard drive. But um, I, I'll leave all the articles to to both of these topics in the description below. Um, but Microsoft themselves has said that they do, they do not have a fix for this yet, which is a big problem because if a major company doesn't have a fix for a big problem that, the, that their own operating system is um, putting out, a lot of trust is going to be lost in them. Because I know their trust is already, I, their trust for me is already lost. That's why I don't, I'm kind of hesitant because I don't want to, to have to go injure buying another computer again, stuff like that. But really, that's the main point of this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, hopefully, the anniversary update can get a fix so that I can feel safe when upgrading to Windows 10. Um, again, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you guys all enjoyed it, and I hope this helps you.